What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So I wanted to post a Terra Luna classic video for you guys and um, talk about something that's kind of on my mind and I haven't talked about yet, which would be the staking percentages. Um, staking over in Terra Station is something that I love to do. I love to gain extra money. I love passive income. I'm sure you like passive income. Um, it's something that provides more value for the position. It's something that provides governance as well. Um, you're, you're staking with validators in order to uh, vote on certain proposals and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I wanted to talk about Terra Luna Classic, where the price is right now, talk about staking and uh, you know what's going on there. So guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, follow my Patreon. Those links are down in the description. So anyways, like I said, if you want to follow my um, follow me on Twitter at Perry AK, you can follow me <coughs> over here. But let's talk about Terra Luna Classic. Let's go into where Terra Luna Classic is right now and talk about the price, talk about the volume and, you know, discuss the the staking portion later in the video. So currently, Terra Luna Classic is at 0 .0001863. I thought this would fall a lot lower with what's going on in the markets today and seeing the entire market down by 12%. Who'd have thought we would see Terra Luna Classic up by 1%? Um, Bitcoin's down by a lot. Ethereum's down by a lot. Uh, FTT token is down by a hell of a lot. Um, and Terra Luna Classic is up today. You're seeing the volume that's up 34%. You're seeing $519 million worth of volume. You can see the, the market cap is at $1.2 billion. So for Terra Luna Classic being up, uh, being where it is right now, um, it's something that I didn't want to see. I wanted to see it drop a little bit so I can have that huge opportunity to buy. I actually said I was going to buy, but for some reason, Crypto.com doesn't want to let me to buy. Um, or doesn't want to let me buy. And then obviously MetaMask with MoonPay has a problem with reading my bank account every single time. So I was only able to buy $40 worth, another $40 worth um, at 17, which I'm going to um, most likely just throw back into uh, Terra Station. And uh, it, it, it sucks because I wanted to buy about $1,000 worth and uh, we'll just leave it as is. But if it does drop all the way back down, I will buy more and um, you know hold that for a short period of time versus the long period of time that I have for the other positions. Um, so right now, I think my cost basis is somewhere around, or not my cost basis, but my profit right now, realized profit is 4,000, uh, 4,700, I believe, or no, 4,800. 70. That's where I'm standing right now because I was at 4,900 and now I'm at 4,870. Uh, oh no, 4,860. Couldn't do math for a second. Um, anyways, that's neither here nor there. Uh, Terra Luna Classic is at 1869. Um, and you know, we're seeing volume that's up quite a bit now. Uh, DEX volume you're seeing about a million dollars that flows through DEX volume, which is good, but it's nowhere near the amount that we want to see because CEX volume is $517 million. Um, burns are not going to be a large impact there because it's only $1.6 million, but it's still more than, than what we've seen in the past, which is a good thing. <coughs> but why are you here? We want to focus on um, Terra Station. If you don't know, uh, Terra Station, and we go to like the stake percentage, the stake percentage for Terra Station, um, or not stake percentage, but the total stake ratio is 12.32%. So 12% of the overall supply stakes their position, which is a good thing, right? The more that stake, the more consistency you have, the more growth potential um, you do have because you have people that are holding that believe in the position long term, so uh, the higher the price can actually go. Now, staking um, before was at a level of about 30%. Uh, people were getting actually 40% at one point. And I thought it was unbelievable that they were getting 40% because there was only like 7% uh, or 8% that were staked. 
and now you have 12%, over 12% that is staked. Um, so obviously a, a pretty big uh, deal here, seeing 12% versus the 7 or 8%. Now, uh, if we go to stake percentages, again, we were getting 30%, 40% at one point, and then it dialed down to about 27%. Then it fell down to about 21%, 2018%. And now we're sitting at about 7% um, across the board for every single position, which is low compared to where we were. It's high for a lot of other places. If you're, let's say you're staking on Coinbase and you're staking another position, you may get 5%, you may get 4%, you may get 3%. But Terra Station is still giving you a better percentage with staking your Terra Luna Classic. So you're gaining that passive income. It's not a bad thing, but it is sort of a problem because now you're getting questions. It's like, is it even worth it to stake at this point? Or should I just hold it and get ready to sell? Um, but it is worth it to stake. If you're gaining any percentage, it's 100% worth it to stake your position. Because even if you're gaining 7%, you're going to be able to gain something big. You can see here that I still have 164,000 coins. Um, and at the 7%, I gained another 30,000 coins over the last uh, couple of days with 21.7 million that is staked. Um, so I'm going to most likely restake that. And you have to have your staked percentages. I'm not saying that you physically have to stake everything that you own. Staking everything that you own is not, um, is not good if you're looking to gain profit. Because profits come off of what you can sell, um, not only what you hold, because yes, you may be able to provide or uh, increase your net worth by holding this position at a certain value. But once you, once you take profit, that's how much you have in the bank account, which is a different story. So uh, I always recommend staking, you know, somewhere around at, at least, at least like 40% or 30 or 40% of your of your position if you want to hold 70 percent, you can there's a lot of times where i stake um 80 of my position and leave 20 percent for selling and then whenever i want to get out of the position i can get out of that position but this is where we stand <coughs> we we hold um positions that gain seven percent apy and i wouldn't be surprised if they even decrease more um from what i hear there's a lot of validators that are actually not even profitable um, and there's some validators or a, a lot of validators that are, but even if you, if you do have things that are not profitable, that's not a good situation, meaning you can't give out rewards. So I don't know who those validators are, but that's where we stand guys. That's where we stand with the rewards. Um, I'm sure they will decrease more, but it's not a horrible thing. If they decrease, it is sort of a problem for keeping people here. Uh, because then as you see the rewards decrease, on Terra Station, maybe people go to a place that's that gives you maybe a four percent um, staking percentage, and then Binance can compete by having you stake at four percent or five percent versus the seven percent and paying the 0.2 percent burn tax. So greed kicks in again. So, anyways, let me know what you think about this. Is it a problem that it's seven percent, or do you think it's just? Eh, we expected it. I expected it, but I want to know if you do. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.